Baker 34 traffic stop. I'm gonna stop this vehicle right here. He's pulling over. How you doing, sir? Hi. Well, yeah, when you signal your lane change from the left lane to the right lane, you can't signal while changing lanes. You gotta do it at least 200 feet prior, okay? Why are your hands shaking so bad? You all right? Yeah, I just didn't know he was standing right next to me. That make you nervous when he's standing there? Yeah, I just didn't scare me if anybody was there. You just nervous when you deal with the police? I'm sorry? I'm just asking this because she was so nervous, that's why. He's saying, uh, man, you can search the car, you can search the car if you want. So, which tells me if there's anything in there, it's not in the car, it's gonna be on them. So, we'll just uh, get him out and go from there. You said I could search it? Yeah. Okay. Why don't y'all both hop out, just keep your hands out of your pockets, okay? Step back here, leave all your documents inside the car, ma'am. You can step over here real quick and just have a seat. Is there any personal use or paraphernalia inside the car? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. All right. So right now, I'm just, uh, just looking for any type of syringe caps, cotton swabs. All right, so you can see this. These are what we call tutors. So she's either snorting meth or heroin. We're going to have a female officer come up here and search her incident to arrest. It's a probable cause search. Now, she's going to search you. Now, when she finds something on you, I don't care if it's residual and you don't tell me about it, I'm going to lock you up. Now, if you tell me about it, then we could talk with one another. Do you understand that? Yes. What do you have on you? Is it meth or heroin? I don't, I don't know. I found some stuff. Okay, you found, found some stuff. stuff. Of Is it in your underwear or in your bra? I think it's in the car. You think it's in the car? Where at in the car? I don't know. And I know you're trying to take my attention away from you to put it on the car. To tell you now, where it is, now, I don't know exactly now when she is. finds something on you, yeah. which she's going to, I'm going to take you to jail. Do you understand? Yes. All right. So tell me what you have on you. I don't and think there's anything on me. You don't think, think there's anything on you. All right. Go with her. You love her? Not really. All right. Where Where is the dope at? I didn't know she had no You didn't know she had any? OK. All right, so she's got two bindles of heroin. Where was it at? In her bra right here. So you can see, looks like it's meth. But she's got uh, two bindles. So she's going to go to jail. She's been lying through her teeth. Ma'am, is this uh, cocaine or meth? Do you have amnesia? No. Do, do you remember things or not? OK, how did it get into your bra? You see how you've been lying the whole time you ain't been cooperative? I got nervous. You got nervous. Stopped him for fair to signal lane change within 200 feet. We then conduct a probable cause search on her. So she ended up finding meth and heroin in her bra. So we got meth, heroin inside the white piece of paper. Try to cooperate with people and give them every chance in the book, but they just want to continually lie and lie and lie. And so she's going to go to jail. She's got a problem. It's going to be possession of meth, possession of heroin, and then possession of paraphernalia. That's a C misdemeanor.